Well, as we've shared with you before, the North Texas Wildlife Center tries not to turn anyone or anything away. And as Trevor Sahaki shows us, the center is making sure every kind of animal gets a second chance, even ones that might be a little stuffed. The Sunday afternoon at the North Texas Wildlife Center in Plano started off like most others. Volunteers fed small animals that needed round the clock care. So I am a human nurse um, in my actual, you know, job and was trying to figure out a way to, you know, contribute. The nonprofit is in the slow season right now, but still taking in creatures daily from birds to squirrels to baby possums. Knowing that even just something as simple as feeding or refilling their water like that's you're helping them survive. But this day's patients were a little different and a lot more lovable. When the center received the donation of stuffing, President Rebecca Hamlin decided to put it to good use and help restore stuffed animals. And so this time of year, we mostly get a lot of trauma cases and we're getting in about four or five animals a day. Um, and it's really hard emotionally for us. And so this is a way for us to do something fun, engage with the community, build that rapport with the community, educate the public. Sure enough, a trauma case came calling. Okay, no loud noises, no big movements, guys. This one was what they called a glue trap rabbit. Hey, Lindsay, yeah. can you get the coconut oil out and put a little bit in a bowl for me? Yes. That meant a sticky trap that was set out for rats and mice accidentally caught a rabbit. The center acted quickly once they got the call, setting up an incubator for the animal and preparing tools. Sorry, go for it. Once the rabbit was inside, the team had to act fast. Rabbits can die quickly if they're kept in an unfamiliar location for too long. Hamlet had to get the animal unstuck and away from humans. Everyone was nervous. But soon enough, she freed its legs by cutting off some fur. Luckily, there weren't more injuries. Into the incubator he goes. He's off the trap. He's already off? Yeah, both of his back feet were stuck. Hamlin said rabbits like this are usually released in a day or two. The family who brought it in said their son found the rabbit stuck in the trap, and the center took the opportunity to educate them on ways to rabbit-proof their house. Um, it's just so adhesive, so you can imagine. And I see, see on Facebook um, that is this North Texas wildlife rescue thing. So I check my Facebook and then call the number, and then that's how I put it in the case. <laughs> Stitching up a stuffed animal, freeing a rabbit, and feeding a baby possum all in a day's work at the Wildlife Center. In Plano, Trevor Sahaki, CBS News, Texas. I, I really do love, I mean, I love the work that they do. It really does provide an option for folks that do come across injured, right. hurt animals. Uh, but the stuffed animal portion was just adorable. Yeah, really I mean, sweet. bring your little stuffed animal yeah. and we'll, we'll give it some TLC. Thank goodness for organizations like this too, just because seeing that, ra or that um, rabbit that is stuck into that trap and seeing the work that they put in yeah. just to get it out, yeah. yikes. And, yeah, and sometimes the stuffed animals do need that TLC because yeah. they get run over, they get thrown thrown in the washer or whatever. Yeah, you know, they so. have a couple of those at home. Missing an arm or a leg. Yeah. yeah.